If finance was a boxing match, then the referee would be getting ready to intervene in emerging markets. Already on the back foot because of fears of a tighter US monetary policy and taking a pounding from sliding commodity prices, the developing world's stocks, bonds and currencies have just been on the receiving end of a haymaker from China in the form of its modest but ominous devaluation. The route has been fierce and broad. Turkey's lira, the Mexican peso, and South Africa's rand all touched new record lows versus the dollar on Monday, whilst the currencies of Malaysia and Indonesia slumped to the lowest since the Asian financial crisis of 1998. JP Morgan's EM currency index has now declined 2.4% this month, to its lowest reading since it was first calculated in 2000. The pain is also being felt in equities and in bonds. The difference between the trailing price-to-earnings ratio of EM and global stock markets is now at the widest since the financial crisis. Likewise, whilst bonds across the developed world have rallied on concerns that China's devaluation would exacerbate deflationary forces, EM fixed income has mostly been thumped. But these recent moves look extreme given the paltriness of China's devaluation. And currency war chatter is, for now at least, hyperbolic. The more freely traded offshore renminbi is down just 3.6% over the past week after climbing for the last two days. And the People's Bank of China has assiduously sought to calm fears over a deeper devaluation. Nonetheless, EM investors are in a sell-first, ask-questions-later mood at the moment. And even a small renminbi depreciation is understandably alarming. Many developing countries have grown dependent on China for economic growth, and Beijing's moves underscores the darkening outlook. With the Federal Reserve probably still on track to lift interest rates this year, things are likely to get rougher still for emerging markets. A modest rebound would be welcome and overdue, but it will likely prove a fleeting reprieve. A second successive shocking devaluation for the Chinese currency, 1.6% this time against the dollar to follow 1.9% on Tuesday. That sparked a wave.